Okay, the first dish I'm going to show you today is our sautéed snails and mushroom dish with malt loaf and birch powder. So um, the malt loaf element is uh, has sentimental value for me. Um, I ate a lot of malt loaf as a child with lots of butter on it. So we, we toast it, so it's nice and crispy on the outside but soft and chewy in the middle still. Uh, and that forms the base of the dish. Um, so we saute the mushrooms in some garlic burn rosette, make a, a, a dark burn rosette and then infuse with garlic. So the mushrooms are sauteed in the burn rosette and then at the end we add the snails in just to warm through um, and some uh, chiffonade parsley, lemon juice, seasoning. The snails we cook for about 18 hours and um, we just uh, braise them in some, some garlic and wine and a mirepoix and some herbs, plenty of uh, uh, parsley and rosemary. Um, so there's the, the malt loaf and the mushrooms, the snails. Uh, the next element on the dish is the fresh curds. So we make fresh curds every day here um, and they get, um, they get covered in a hay ash, um, which is just hay roasted in the oven, burnt really dark and then powdered. And then we also have uh, parsley oil uh, and then finally the birch powder. So again, the woodland theme of the dish. It's got a nice woody, smoky um, flavour to it. And we make, uh, make a powder uh, from malt protection powder. Um, we infuse an oil with, with birch, um, add that to the powder and that, like, just, um, that finishes the dish. The next dish I'm going to show today is our kid goat dish. So it's a slow cooked kid goat with, um, we start off with some kale. So we just sweat kale and butter. Um, don't like to cook it in water because that takes a lot of the flavour away. So we just sweat it down slowly in lots, lots of butter. Um, and then next we do uh, some potatoes. Uh, we cook them with the skins on in rendered goat suet. And then um, we finish them by frying them in a, a frying pan with, again, some rendered goats to it, just to crisp them up. So the goat shoulder element of the dish is, um, it's brined for 48 hours, um, and then we cook for 24 hours at 58 degrees. Uh, and then during service, we warm it through in a, an emulsion made from goat sauce and butter, 50-50 goat sauce and butter. Um, and then there's the loin, so we slow cook the loin also. We do that at 54 degrees, um, but usually somewhere between two and four hours for that. And then we also have the cauliflower. Cauliflower florets are warmed through in it, but they're not, they're not cooked exactly, they're just warmed. They've got a nice, raw, strong cauliflower flavour still to them. Roast cauliflower yoghurt. Um, there's just a few dots of that on the plate, so there's not much of it, but you know, to, to give it some impact, that's, that's why we put the raw cauliflower juice back in there. And then the final element to the dish is the goat sauce. So it's the roasted goat bones, um, caramelised onions, carrots, um, stocks cooked out um, overnight in the oven. Uh, and then we reduce it down and finish it with adding back some goat fat to it. The dessert I'm going to show you today is, uh, it's called Ratafia Pudding. It comes from a cookbook which I really love called The Art of Cookery by Hannah Glass. It's an 18th century cookbook and I take a lot of inspiration from it. It's, it's um, we use that cookbook for, for um, a starting point for a lot of the dishes. The, the first element to the dish is the pastry. So it's a puff pastry um, baked in icing sugar. So nice, crisp, thin pastry. And then we have the Cox's orange pippin apple, which is baked slowly in a caramel. Um, nice sort of caramelised apple flavour to that. Um, and then we have uh, a bay d'aquoise to bring in the bay flavour, bay, bay and almond d'aquoise. Um, and finally the bay custard, so it's just a custard infused with bay leaves uh, into the siphon and then we poach that in nitrogen, so it's a nice cold element, you've got the warm apple and the cold custard um, and that completes the dish. <laughs>